morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this new video tutorial get familiar with uh, today we will have a look at the uh, new version of the amu endomat pump in the previous video you have seen uh, the comparison between the old one and the new one as well as the details and the video tutorial regarding the original version of the amu endomat Today we will analyze uh, all the features of the new model. And now we start, uh, as usual, uh, switching on the, uh, the device. Uh, the difference, everybody can see, is the presence of a LCD uh, screen uh, that makes the pump more actual, more modern. And after a short time of test, uh, uh, it will come uh, the message, the video message uh, of the pump uh, suggesting to connect the tube inside. We cannot see or do anything different than the connection of the tube. Out of, except of, uh, few regulation allow the presence of the audio, the language, in this case we will uh, um, uh, use the en uh, English language, okay? and then three parameters that are uh, not frequently used. The info of the device, uh, helpful to understand which is the um, software installed, the version of the software installed, and the event log and the service uh, necessary to understand if the, pro if the pump has problems. So go back to the main menu and I will show you the connection, how the connection of the tubing set looks much different from the uh, previous model. Now we are ready to install uh, the tubing set uh, as we did uh, with the old version of the AMU Endomat. So uh, same way we install first the aspiration tube uh, or the vacuum tube that it's characterized by different uh, uh, lock. So you cannot use the one of the old AMU uh, but you have to uh, use the one uh, uh, that comes with uh, uh, the new version. Uh, we insert the, uh, the aspiration into the vacuum and then uh, the uh, aspiration, uh, the second aspiration tube that goes from the vacuum to the resetoscope uh, in order to uh, establish the aspiration, okay? Then uh, the aspiration, uh, the irrigation, sorry, the irrigation uh, Tubing set is much easier than the previous one. There is only one cable always with the Y connectors that goes to the sack. And then in this plastic uh, uh, adapter. In this adapter, it contains everything in the previous one was uh, separate. We have the membrane uh, for the uh, pressure system, the consensus here, and the tube inside. Uh, you should have uh, uh, the one for hysteroscopy as well, uh, one dedicated to laparoscopy. Uh, they are immediately recognized by the machine. They are inside different, so they are immediately recognized by the machine. So if you, ha you have only this plastic part, uh, this is inserted in this way, click it in, and then uh, secure it. In this way, the machine is ready and immediately appears the screen uh, the setup, uh, the parameters uh, on the uh, screen. That is the irrigation, the suction, and the flow as in the previous one. So you don't have many cables going around. It's much easier, the connection, uh, the connection here. Um, regarding the parameters, uh, I want just to remark that you can regulate uh, the default for the irrigation, these two uh, arrows uh, increasing, uh, or decreasing uh, the uh, pressure. But regarding the flow, it's been chosen only three parameters. Uh, that is 200, 400, and 600 ml per minute. So I suggest you to stay in the middle with 400 quite close to the previous one. And also the uh, suction irrigation bar should be modified. And also here it's suggestible to stay at the minimum 0.1. Once it's done, the machine is ready to work. So I will show you now how it works uh, with the liquid. Once everything has been uh, connected, we should start 
the use of the pump, that it's almost similar to the previous one. There are not big differences out of the screen and the connection. So we have the resetoscope with the inflow and the outflow connected. We start the flow first and we wait until all the bubbles are uh, uh, eliminated through the circuit. This again because if the bubbles go into the cavity, then it will be absolutely impo almost impossible to remove the bubble due to the different uh, surface tension respect uh, of the scope itself. So you have to wait a couple of seconds uh, until all the circuit is uh, free. So all the bubbles are gone. So we have uh, the flow as demonstrated in the previous version, being the pump not higher than the body of the patient, that is this level. Uh, we have uh, still uh, something uh, sign as a resistance, uh, as a pressure inside the circuit. So if we will be able to move the pump uh, 30 centimeters higher, even these small uh, lights will disappear. Uh, just to show to you that if we increase uh, the uh, flow, um, nothing special will change up to 40, but you see here, we have, uh, we're starting having a little bit of turbulence, uh, so there is uh, another part of the screen highlighted. And if we bring it to 600, uh, you see, it's higher. So what it means, means that we are creating a turbulence inside uh, the uh, channel. So it's much better to remain uh, with a circle for around 200, 400, as I showed to you. And uh, it will work perfectly. Now it's time to put on the aspiration and you see that uh, the septa, the uh, pump aspirate the air, the receptor, inside the receptor there will be a vacuum and the vacuum will aspirate the liquid from the aspiration and the liquid start uh, going into the receptor. So this is exactly the same, it happens with the old uh, endomat. So at the end, we can say that the big difference between the old version and the new version is the uh, screen, the presence of the screen, but it's just a, 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 a modern update. But the big update is here in the connection of the irrigation that are much, much more easier than, uh, than uh, before. I would like also to remind you that uh, the setup, uh, if you want to use the endomat, uh, that has been designed for the resetoscope with the office hysteroscope size 5, size 4 of the bio, you have to use a, a, a low pressure inside the uterine cavity, much lower than when you use the resetoscope. So we know around 45, 50 millimeter of mercury. So with this setup, 100 uh, millimeter of mercury, 200 of flow and 0, 1 bar, you will get uh, uh, due, uh, due to our study, you will get around 45-50 millimeter of mercury inside the uterine cavity. So remember these parameters uh, if you want to use the AMU endomat also in office uh, hysteroscopy. This is the conclusion of our video tutorial uh, on the new version of the AMU endomat. Uh, now you have uh, probably a clear vision about the world of the uh, um, intrauterine pressure, uh, particularly uh, of the pumps, uh, having the possibility to watch the video of the Easy Pump and of the AMU first version and AMU new version. So I hope you will uh, get all the information you're looking for and I uh, give you an appointment to the next uh, video. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.